At 3,600 metres above sea level, this desolate Arab landscape in the Andes Mountains doesn't produce much. But what it does manage to grow here is ganyawa, a grain with more iron, zinc, protein and calcium than its cousin, quinoa. It also has a less bitter taste. For our ancestors, food production was an art, the art of having a deep relationship with Mother Earth, what we now call the environment. They had to have a positive relationship. Trigidia has that positive relationship, working with her husband and four children to grow and develop ganyawa for consumption, both at home and abroad, as flour, cereal bars, soup and more. I believe all products must have a fair price for the producer, that it covers the effort he puts in. But it should also be at fair price for the consumer, so they can afford it. And then a fair price for Mother Earth. The cost of pollution is sustainable use of the soil. She's keen that their organic product does not go the way of quinoa. Sold at high prices in the whole food shops of London, New York, Berlin and elsewhere. A so-called superfood that the Bolivians who produce it can no longer afford. You've got to be tough to survive up here, both plants and humans. Both need to understand the other, not just to survive and thrive, but to provide solutions to an ever hungrier world. Kenyawa can withstand frosts and heavy rainfall, strong winds and even drought, making it an ideal crop in areas affected by extreme weather caused by climate change. It then needs to be adapted for modern markets. This machine didn't exist anywhere else in Bolivia. It's a prototype, the first. We had to test it on quinoa and amaranto to produce this toaster, which transforms the product. Kanyawa is also providing work in regions which farmers have for generations been deserting for the cities. Trichidia returned from the city and found her peace with Mother Earth. The answers she says are here, if we would only take the time to look for them. Daniel Schwimmer, Al Jazeera, Toledo, Bolivia.